My name is Toby Parker. Um, I'm Manufacturing Services Manager for Southgate Manufacturing based here in Worcester. So Southgate Manufacturing is a global manufacturer of access hardware. We work across a number of sectors including automotive, marine, trains, planes, automobiles, we're everywhere. We're using the Matec MES software. We're using that across our shop floor. It's been used within our planning areas, our quality functions. You know, we went out and we looked around the marketplace, we did extensive research and we found that Matec did a lot of the data capturing stuff that we were looking for, but it also had additional production planning uh, elements uh, within the software that we were able to utilise to gain productivity. So actually installing the software was fairly simple. Um, initially, you know, when we started injection moulding, we had an Epicor engineer on site for the day. He installed the server and software. Uh, we'd already installed the MIUs and connected them up to our injection moulding machines following the standard documentation that uh, Epicor provided. So when the guy came on site, we actually had the software installed and up and running within 24 hours. It was a very short period of training that we had with the front end for the users. Uh, the interface was very simple. Uh, we literally spent 25, 30 minutes uh, with a small group of employees running them through the software and within 24 hours they were up and running. And one of the things we found um, that is if we had a better scheduling tool, we could run similar materials at similar barrel temperatures one after the other, which allowed us to do faster tool changes, which added a lot of additional time to tool change over. We've transitioned uh, recently over into our assembly area where we're primarily using the production scheduling side of the software. We've found there's been some huge benefits to this and also getting clarity from our front end of our business through to the production shop floor so they can get a much better view of when customer orders are going to be completed, where their particular priorities or particular jobs sit within the schedule and when they're due to start, when they're due to finish. And it just gives a lot more clarity front to end and uh, cuts down a lot of unnecessary communication across the business because it's, you know, that information is just readily available for anybody who wants it at the click of a button. One of the biggest benefits of the system since we introduced it was our document control. Traditionally, a lot of our documents were printed off paper copies that were stuck on the side of the machines and we had problems with revision control and so on. When we moved over to the Matex system and integrated it with SAP, it gave us the opportunity to send the latest revision of the documents with the production order down onto the shop floor. So every time we run a job, we know that we're running with the latest version of the documents and they're available on the touch screen right next to the operator. So things like OMS sheets, packaging specifications, drawings, PFMEAs and so on are all available at point of use. It also gives us the opportunity, if we have any quality issues, to be able to go back and understand which revision the documents that particular order was made against to see if there have been any improvements or if there's any quality related issues that we need to refer back to. When we first started using Matic, it was primarily injection molding and moving into assembly, but you know we've got plants all over the world now collecting data from die casting machines, collecting data from CNC milling machines, from turning machines. Uh, stamping machines. So really the technology has developed a lot over the last 10 years which is enabling us to use it across our manufacturing business and collecting data from all of our production equipment. We've now got four primary injection moulding facilities uh, within the Southco um, group and we have visibility of capacity across all of those machines globally. We were looking to add an additional two injection moulding machines into our shop floor here at Worcester and we'd also just bought up five injection moulding machines from our Farnham facility as we integrated their moulding capacity into the Worcester uh, campus. And um, over the first six months probably of, uh, of having those machines up and running, uh, we'd got rid of the five machines we bought up from Farnham and we didn't buy the two uh, production machines that we were planning on buying, purely because of the way we were managed to optimise our production schedule and gain productivity. As we continue to grow, as, as we are currently, you know, Epicor is, Epicor's software is very important to us to continue to allow us to uh, optimise our processes, optimise our productivity and ensure that we're making the best of our global capacity in all areas of the business, you know, not just injection moulding but also our stamping plants around the world, our die casting facilities, our turning capacity and so on and so on. So you know, it really does give us that global view that we never had before of all of our capacity.